They just use the base 2.82282, in which pi equals 0.58723078. Checkmate math, tell me the last eight digits of pi. The last eight digits of pi are, uh, wait, huh? I am one of the dumbest people to ever have walked the earth. I'm still walking it, I apologize for that. With that being said, the executives here at MK Industries are forcing me to take on math memes. I am so sorry that most of this video, I'm so sorry to tell you, most of this video is gonna be me going, I don't understand. It could be the simplest crap in the world. I'm probably not gonna get it. I failed more math classes in middle school and high school than you could ever guess. No joke. Without any further ado, I'm so goddamn sorry. Figure four, a sheer transformation. Sheep, sheared sheep. Okay, no, no, I don't have to be too smart to get this one, I suppose. I'm sorry, but you can't always be experiencing a higher volume of calls than average. That's not how averages work. Yes, but they're lying, remember? <laughs> they know, they understand, they don't care. Proof by induction be like, mm-hmm, yes, yes. Those aren't numbers though. I mean, I see two numbers, but then I see four letters. So what I'm getting here is, uh, everyone is overlooking the real benefit of induction stoves, which is that if they work today, you can infer that they'll work tomorrow. Yeah. Look, man, I just want to cook my spaghetti in peace, okay? People who use exact values, people who use approximations, people who use infinite approximations. This is one of the reasons I don't like math. What does that even mean? Solve every integral perfectly. God, that word is really hard to say. Forget 108 is divisible by 3. No, I, I I totally understand. I'm sorry, this is what it's going to be the whole time. I'm, I'm gonna do my best. See, like, what does this even mean? Quotient rule? Oh god, look, this, whatever this is, is going for the jukebox. Oh no! My opponent integrated my king. What now? Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> Come on! This is so mean, this isn't fair to me! What's the deal with not theory? Is it theory or not? Seinfeld. Okay, see, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute, I don't need to understand the math behind it to understand what it's saying. Okay, but what the heck does this graph even mean? Oh, thank God, one that also doesn't make any sense to anyone else. Replace scrolling with math learning. Get better at math, get better at everything. Yeah, I don't know what this is supposed to mean. I'm sure there's a genius in the comments that can make sense of it though, right? Actually, that's an N. Euler diagram. Because, come on, everything's named after Euler. Euler's constant, Euler's function. Can't we let John Venn have this? No. Also, numbers are now Euler letters. I don't know who Euler is, but Venn can have the diagram as far as I'm concerned, okay? Life is like a sine function. It has its ups and downs. Some random great mathematician. The sine function that determines the ups and downs of my life. <laughs> well, at least you can return to rock bottom. <laughs> 18th century math be like. New mathematical discovery. You, okay, so I'm guessing he's a guy that kind of pioneered all sorts of stuff, right? Is that, you know what? Let me just look it up. Hold on, let me educate myself while I'm here, right? Euler, Leonard Euler was a Swiss mathematician, physicist, astronomer, geographer, logician, and engineer who founded the studies of graph theory and topology and made pioneering and influential discoveries in many other branches of mathematics such as analytic number theory, complex analysis, and infinitesimal calculus. Good God! Okay, okay, sorry, that was the direct Google blurb. I, I just had to make that little aside really quick. Okay, well that puts into context, he's probably what? One of the smartest freaky mofos that ever lived? If Newton's integration notation was developed in 2023, Am I actually looking at loss right now, math major? Want to see my proof? Engineering students, we don't do that here. You don't? Clearly my daughter is showing an early interest in the Mandelbrot set, I guess. Hey math, why do you always wear that mask? Let's keep this on. Wait, philosophy, what? What happened to him? He found out, uh, see, I don't even know how to read stuff like that. How do you read that out to people? First matrix to be Gauss eliminated must have been like, sorry, it's it's starting to like make my, my CPU you bottleneck. You talk a lot of crap for someone who uses an excessive amount of parentheses in their calculator. But what if I need them? Does he bite? No, but he can hurt you in other ways. You will never have to graph a hyperbola in the real world, math teachers. To be fair, quite a bit of what math teachers are trying to get across to you isn't something you're necessarily going to use 
in the real world very much, if at all. Like, let's, let's be real. I'm terrible at it. I failed a lot of it, but I've also never needed to use any of it anyway. And, and, we've all got calculators in our pockets. Me and the boys. There's no way that any teacher will come in this bad weather. Math teacher? Oh, they showing up. They're like customers going to IHOP. You know, the regular customers. It could snow 30 feet and they're gonna come in through the snow like zombies. Log normal distribution at the gym. Wh oh, I mean, I don't understand what the title says, but I can kind of sort of infer what might be happening here. <laughs> Oh no. What? Your girlfriend does not exist. Hey man, she is real. I visited her. Finland was lovely, by the way. It was existentially terrifying. Just look, it was very isolated. Anyway, back to the video. My professor trying to ignore the three doodles of anime in my work. Me showing my calc professor my notes trying to figure out where I went wrong. I mean, I'd get expelled for some <laughs> like that. Insert the missing number. One, two, four, sixteen. Only eight is correct. That could be anything. That could be anything. I get it. I can't tell which one is the clone. Uh, I, am I supposed to help? Because you're, you're dead, dude. Since mathematicians can invent imaginary numbers, I'll make my own. I will let J be a number with the property J to the third power equals negative one or minus one. Wouldn't that mean that- what? See, I'm stupid! How the hell they mess up the quadratic equation like that, bro? Just Google it. The longer you look at it, the worse it gets. Peppa Pig got this right. Velma has no excuse. That is true. Leave the question blank or draw a fun picture. You're getting zero either way, why not have some fun with it? <laughs> you son of a- <laughs> I'm N. Ooh wee You know what your problem is? You live in a fantasy land! Uh... You can only pick one. Choose wisely. A cat girlfriend, she loves you, or a proof for the Raymond hypothesis. In mathematics, the Raymond hypothesis is the conjecture that the R Raymond zeta function has its zeros only at the negative even integers and complex numbers with real part 12. Uh, many consider it to be the most important unsolved problem in pure mathematics. How much money it worth? I'll figure it out tonight. Me on my way to prove a theorem using a theorem that is derived from it. Just do one push-up whenever you forget to add plus C when integrating. I take it it's an incredibly common problem. When a mathematician graduates, do they get a degree or a radiant deep thoughts with the D? Dollar foot long. Sandwiches at a real price? How come an expression with imaginary numbers evaluate to a real value? That's a fair question. In relation to the Dunning-Kruger effect, I cannot remember what the Dunning-Kruger effect is. Remember, kids, if you don't learn how to graph sign, then Jesus died for nothing. I tried my best, okay? I tried my best. I'm sorry I don't have a TI-84 anymore. Or was it an 83? Either way, my kidnappers returning me back after listening for two hours to me talk about different ways to know if a sequence is convergent. How tough are you? How tough am I? I can add fractions with different denominators. So what? All in my head, no writing. All uh, right, this way. Just a simple math captcha. Prove that you're not a robot. Select all the squares with convergent improper integrals. I don't want to. This website's not worth it. Numbers only. We're Romans. See, that's cute. That one's funny, because dumb people like me can understand it. You're so negative. I wish you'd square root yourself. So you become imaginary. Always... The hardest tests, I fear no man, but that thing, two question open notes open book calculator on math test, it scares me. Yeah, you know it's gonna be messed up with parameters like that, dude. She was sending me mixed signals, so I did a Fourier anal- a Fourier? A Fourier analysis? That machine's pretty cool though. Sexy primes are prime numbers that differ from each other by six. For example, numbers 5 and 11 are both sexy primes, because 11 minus 5 equals 6. Hey 5, you wanna get out of here? Oh 11, you dirty dog. See, math can be hot. Choose your side. Okay? I don't know. Neither. Yeah, I'm a simp. Super into math placeholder text. Nostalgia. How I long for those simpler times. I certainly don't. My nostalgia hit a little different than yours, I think. Guys, if your girl repeats herself, is curvy and thick, goes on forever and ever, describes the vibrations that we hear as music. Fellas, that aren't your girl. That's a sine wave. In a Cora on how big is Graham's number? LOL. It's tiny, pathetically small. Almost every positive integer is larger than Graham's number. Indeed, it's incredibly easy to think of numbers which are larger. There are infinitely many to choose from, yet there are only two finitely many which are smaller. I suppose. This math is sorcery, which makes me a sorcerer. Wait, is that, hold on. That doesn't say sorcery, sar, sar, oh. 
God, I hate handwriting. Stop it. Whiteboard stuff is the worst. I can't read it. A section of a circle is called an arc. What is a section of a surface of a hollow sphere called? Uh... Frickin' North America. I don't know, Jesus. It's always fun to watch physicists do math. After watching this, I have some idea of why string theory went off the rails. I can solve a bunch of hard integrals, but eight, is that times seven, is too much to ask for. Calculus students, basic arithmetic, before. Fun fact, in order to play Wednesday, a dark, bitter teenage girl with no hope and feelings and essentially dead inside, Jenna Ortega studied complex analysis for six months. I mean, I'd believe it. Parents paying $75 an hour for math tutoring, me just helping their kids with stuff I remember from sophomore algebra. Think of a number, don't tell it to me. Double it. Just say okay when you got it. Add six. Half that. Subtract the number you started with. Your answer is three. When you have no idea how to answer the test question, does the recommended extra problems that won't be on the test? Sorry, does. I don't know why I enunciated it like that. This is all very weird to me, man. I can't do this one again. This is your one time I'll embarrass myself like this. I hate it when people do this. I found a video about my differential equation. It's only ten minutes long. He explains it well. He multiplies with dx. What? I'm sorry, that killed it? What? Huh? Someone went and stole one and zero elements from my field. Unbelievable, that's identity theft. How'd they even get in anyway? It was meant to be closed. Thanks to this mofo, I can't say things like, I like studying game theory, or I think game theory can explain this, without having to explain that I'm not a 10-year-old FNAF fan. It is his fault. Sexy for real, you are sexy. Tell me something I don't know. Is that the answer or the problem? This mofo Velma cannot do math. Yeah, that much was quite obvious from the beginning. Math is everywhere. Uh, hey! Would you look at that? How fun. That's so cool. I said, damn it. When you thought he said he wanted to do a funk, but he didn't mean analysis of functions. Yeah. Differential topology lecture. Me, fourth year math major. When will I ever need this in real life? I've got a sneaky suspicion that so much of what we learn, at least 80% is not needed to do the jobs we're going for. Maybe even 90%. Because by the time you get there, there's some guy that says, oh, that? We don't use that. Do what I'm telling you. I was today years old when I learned about the perfect triangle. Uh, oh, I see. Right. No, I, this one I do understand. No, I'm not going to prove that I do. So there. Four is the only number that has the same amount of letters as its actual value. Two? I mean, I think they slam dunked you. Like I said, this is the one time I will accept doing math memes. I'm never going to make myself look this dumb again. You understand? That was the one-off. Have a nice day.